Hey guys, the objectives of this video are to look at an example on finding variables using the dimensional, dimensional analysis techniques we've seen before. Um, so here's our example. A fluid imparts a drag force F on a cylindrical shape in space. Choose appropriate variables to carry out the Buckingham Pi theorem in order to undertake the minimum number of experiments to determine the drag. So this question is asking us uh, to use our common sense and intuition to try and guess what variables are going to influence the drag force. So as you'd expect, this question is pretty ambiguous, but let's give it a crack anyway. Uh, so going back to our Buckingham Pi procedure, um, the first step is to determine the relevant variables. Uh, now, up until now, we've always been given the relevant variables, uh, and on the most part, that will be the case. But in this question, we've been specifically asked to determine the relevant variables in the question. Um, so if we consider what the situation is, imagine you've got a cylinder in space and wind, which is, of course, a fluid, is blowing on the cylinder. It doesn't have to be wind. It could be water. It's any fluid because it hasn't been specified. Um, but we'll postulate wind for now just so you understand what's going on. The drag force is going to be largely dependent on the fluid properties of the wind blowing on it, uh, as well as the geometric properties of the cylinder. Uh, so previously we identified three groups from which we could choose uh, variables from, geometry, fluid properties, and forcing. In our case, we are trying to find the drag force, so we've got one variable in the forcing group, which is this one here. Now we've got to start choosing the independent variables. Um, a lot of the inferences I'm about to make are premeditated, so don't worry if you wouldn't have thought of it yourself. Uh, it's pretty hard to do that with, uh, well, without a lot of practice first. So um, from experience, you know that a fast wind is going to blow you over more than a slow, slow wind, so clearly our drag force is going to depend on the velocity of the fluid. So that's another forcing term. Now we said our drag force is going to be largely dependent on the geometry of the cylinder. Uh, you know that some shapes are more aerodynamic than others. So of course our, our cylinder here um, is going to have geometric properties that influence its aerodynamic qualities. Uh, and the, the two geometric properties of a cylinder that uh, specifically define it are its diameter and, and height or length. So that's a geometric term, diameter and length. So we include those um, to the fluid properties. We haven't actually been specified a fluid. Uh, you can imagine that a torrent of water is going to be more likely to bowl you over than a gust of wind at the same speed. Uh, this is mostly due to its weight um, or also its, its density, which are largely the same thing. 